What's up, y'all? This is Steve again. I had a request for one of the members of one of the groups I'm in, and uh, he wanted me to show him how to map things, map the game pads in the emulator. So let's choose one. We're going to go to S NES 9X right now. Usually, when you map a game, It'll say this key gamepad input setup. You just press on it. Once you press on it, auto detect device to set up. Click on it. Push any key. I pushed it. Now that I pushed any key, set <coughs> set gamepad keys. You see that? And you pretty much just go up and down and select which ones you want. That's simple. Let's try something else. Let's try what other emulators I got. Try the main. Oh. Configure general inputs. It'll, it'll let you know how to do it. See what else I got. NES. Same thing. Key gamepad input. Click on it. Auto detect device to set up. Push a key. Set gamepad keys. That's it. That's simple, y'all. And you just hold on. I'm gonna show it one more time for you guys. Gonna set gamepad keys. You want A to be A. You want B to be B. Y, X, A and B together. I'm going to make that a R1. And once you're done, you just click back. This arrow right here. You need a mouse too, guys. Get you a mouse. See that little arrow right there? Click on it. It's going to save. So save now. Um, let's see if I got Sega. What's my Sega emulator? Um... Oh, Mega Drive. Key input set up. That's it. That, that, that's it, y'all. This is that easy. But uh, let me see what else it has. Let's go to PSP, P, P P S S P P. I don't know why my stuff look like that. I'm going to settings. Controls. Control mapping. And 
like I said, they're all their song. All right, guys. Uh, comment if you need additional help. Don't forget to subscribe. You know, ask me to do videos if you have a problem with something. And I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. But, uh, yeah, that's how you map your uh, gamepad. Okay, this is Steve. Have a good night.